Update 17 has brought us an amazing opportunity for free huges and one of the most free to play clan battles that we have seen so far in Pet Simulator 99. Big Games has gone above and beyond to provide some good content for this week's update, so we have a lot to cover with this one. Whether you're grinding for the clan battle, pushing the top 1000 leaderboard, or just trying to grind for gift bags in general, I have the setup for you. In this video, we're going to go over all of the secret tips that that should help you to do all of those things that I just talked about, as well as give you the best loadouts for each of those scenarios, no matter what you're really trying to do. All that I ask is that if this video helps you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. We are pushing for Big Games Partner, so every subscriber right now really helps out a lot. So thank you guys for that, and let's get straight into the video. All right, you guys, to start off, I don't have that many points because of all of the restarts and all of the testing that I was doing. I honestly have not been opening the egg that much on this account but of course you guys know i have three accounts that i do grind on so i've been doing a lot of testing of various things now some of that testing that i've been doing has been regarding some of the pay to win aspects so on this account that i'm on right now i pretty much have every game pass in the game except for the double stars game pass now included in some of these game passes are some that you would think would help with a battle like this for example the ultra lucky game pass the huge hunter game pass the lucky game pass as well as the plus 15 hatch bonus now from comparing the results from this account to my other two accounts that i have going that don't have these game passes it does seem to me that this event is one of the most free to play friendly events of all time as very little of these benefits from game passes actually affect much of the things that you will be grinding for now i have on the screen here the message from the devs themselves saying that the huges that you get from the gift bags which are tradable actually do not count towards the clan battle points now the reason why this is a very big deal is because this means that the clan battle is not pay to win because essentially what would have happened if the huges from these gift bags ended up actually counting towards the clan battle then whoever was able to buy the most of these gift bags was essentially going to win so in this message from the devs they clearly stated that they want to keep it as fair as possible and that's why they stated that the huges that you get from those gift bags actually don't count towards your clan points so honestly for the average player this is a very good thing there are as close to zero excuses as possible for a clan battle this is purely about who is able to open eggs for the longest now before i actually get into the setup for all of these different situations that you might want setups for i should probably explain what the different grinds are because it is kind of complicated now if you're purely just grinding for the clan battle in the game that means that you are essentially trying to only get the huge from this egg. That is the only way that you can get points for your clan is by opening this egg and actually getting this huge for yourself. Now I'll have on the screen here the odds from Copycat on Twitter, which essentially gives us the chances to actually get this huge from the egg. Now these odds should be the exact same for this egg as it is for the good side. Now believe it or not, for all three of my huges, I actually got the evil side. So I don't know if they somehow connected my accounts, but somehow all three of my alts are on the evil side and we are currently winning right now so this is very good for me i'm getting a ton of these good versus evil gift bags which are selling for over a million diamonds a piece so essentially every hour on the hour i'm getting a free like three million almost four million diamonds for doing absolutely nothing anybody that has a ton of accounts that have up to this area unlocked are going to be able to get a ton of free gift bags during this update and this event is lasting the next two weeks so the people with a ton of accounts are absolutely going to be banking during this event now if your one goal is to just grind for this clan battle there aren't that many things that actually boost your chances to get this huge essentially all you want to do is be opening this egg for as long as possible during this event so pretty much 24 7 you want to be opening this egg which means that you should be able to grind coins while opening the egg now if you 
don't have auto farm i actually do have a method that i'm about to show you a little later in this video in which you can grind while opening this egg at the same time which actually doesn't require the auto farm game pass at all so definitely stick around to the end of the video if that applies to you now one thing i would definitely suggest if you are trying to push the clan leaderboards is to most definitely be using an auto clicker when opening eggs so if i turn on auto hatch here you could see i'm opening eggs automatically and you don't really need to do anything but if i start clicking while opening this you could see that the animation goes just a tiny bit quicker and that tiny bit quicker is really about a 25 percent speed increase which if you are opening for the next two weeks that is a lot more eggs that you can open to potentially get huges for your clan now honestly i would just set your auto clicker to click as fast as it goes because that is going to give you the most benefits for speeding up this process and then as well as that if you do want more chances to get this huge also upgrading how many egg opening slots you have is going to help you out because each of those egg opening slots gives you just a little bit of a higher chance at getting this huge now of course with that knowledge the plus 15 egg hatch game pass will help you out but it's not completely detrimental if you don't have it but it's just something we should consider and honestly that is pretty much the only pay to win aspect that you could even think of for this clan battle now in terms of enchants to use for helping you with the clan battle absolutely nothing is going to actually help you even these huge hunter books aren't going to increase your chances because these only help your active huge chance and these huges are actually different than the active huge as you can see here on the right this is the active huge in the egg so using a huge hunter book or the huge hunter game pass will help you to get this huge but it won't help you to get this one which is the one that actually counts towards your clan's points now let's say you're not in a clan or you just don't care about the clan leaderboard at all there is a second leaderboard that you can go and push and you actually get pretty good rewards from it so if you get in the top thousand of of either of these leaderboards or even both you actually get a free huge evil imp now if you get top 250 you get a golden imp and if you get the top 25 you receive a rainbow imp now all of those tips that i just gave you about the clan battle are going to help you to push this leaderboard but in terms of this leaderboard things are going to get very different so in order to push this leaderboard you're actually going to want to get as many of these points as possible which are the points that are actually helping your team in this battle of good versus evil now essentially for this you're going to want everything in the game that actually has to do with egg luck now the two lucky game passes that i showed you earlier should help your chances at actually getting this dark lord stat pet which will give your clan a hundred thousand points which is actually pretty significant so if you do want to push this leaderboard I would definitely suggest having those game passes at least i can't really remember how expensive these two were but honestly if you don't have these i doubt it would even be worth trying to push this leaderboard just because i'm pretty sure this is like a 400 or a 500 percent egg luck boost and this one's like a 200 or 250 percent egg luck boost so the combination of these two game passes is going to give the competition a huge advantage over you and i'd probably stick to this third method of grinding that i'm about to talk about in a second now in terms of egg luck there really aren't that many enchants that actually help with raw lucky eggs for example the lucky eggs nine book pretty much only stacks 2.5 times according to the big games api so i would not use more than three using more than three of these is just going to be a waste of enchant slots and you can instead use those slots for other more important things you can use more enchants that are actually going to give you coins so that you can grind consistently with charged eggs on definitely don't waste your slots by using more than three of these books you could also just empower one of these books as well and then use a second one and i think you will be hitting that limit as well so that's another option for you but making sure that you can open eggs constantly without draining your coins at all is going to be a big advantage so i can't give you really any other suggestions for other enchants to use like for example if you use the shiny hunter enchant this is only going to increase the chances of those stat pets that you get now to my current knowledge if these stat pets are shiny or rainbow i don't think it makes any difference at all so you wouldn't really
really benefit from using this. Same kind of deal with the huge hunter. Obviously, this only helps with active huges, which we don't really need at the moment. So honestly, if I were you guys, I would stick to using stuff like speed books, coins, even other books like criticals or strong pets that helps you to actually destroy the area quicker. All of that will be very good. It honestly just depends on your build and what you need in the moment. Now, the third and final method of grinding that you can do with update 17, which basically you can do any of these three options. It really just depends on what you want to do in the game. There's not a wrong or right way to play it. But this third method is going to be the one that probably generates you the most amount of diamonds just raw. And that's going to be actually just grinding for the special items that you can use to craft the gift bags for your respective sides. Now for a build that actually grinds things like these demon horns or the feathers from the good side, you're basically going to want a build that essentially just does as much damage as possible as quick as possible. So sort of like the past boss fight builds that we've had in the past quite recently now if you are looking for a build that does maximize how fast you can break these breakables and try to get some of the items like these horns from the bad side and the feathers from the good side you basically just want to be using a build that maximizes your damage output and how fast you can actually do damage to these breakables now currently in the game i actually have this shiny rainbow demon serpent which i'm pretty sure is the second best stat pet in the game and it still takes my level 99 huges with double royalty charms like seven or eight hits to break each of these breakables which is absolutely crazy so by no means necessary is it easy to destroy any of these breakables so you're definitely gonna have to incorporate damage into your build now if you don't care about those last two grinding methods that i showed you at all you can use a build like this which essentially just maximizes your damage output now one thing about the fruity enchant with this build i would definitely suggest not using this if you don't don't have your max fruit mastery because if you are going to be afk with a build like this your fruit is going to drain extremely fast so i just think overall it's not worth using something like this now stacking the criticals books turns out to not be a very good idea because the threshold is very low for criticals so just using one of these should be fine but you can use two of these strong pet nine books with very little fall off. So I would definitely suggest still using two of these. And then of course, happy pets is very good because it makes your pets move faster and deal damage quicker. So that's always good. And then of course the explosive enchant, which just does some AOE damage for your huges. Now overall explosive isn't really that good of an enchant, but it does do a little bit of surrounding damage to the breakables that your pets are hitting. So I think it helps out a little bit. But honestly, if big games were to put a new exclusive enchant in the game, I would hope they would add something that is like explosive, but just a little bit better. That would be a sick enchant to have. Now, even though I went over three different ways that you can grind for this update, you actually don't have to do all of these separately. You can do all of them in one build, and that's kind of what I'm going for in this update. I'm going for a build that grinds this area as fast as possible, as well as tries to push this leaderboard, as well as open huges for my clan. Now, in order to do this, this is pretty much the only enchant loadout that i could come up with now clearly it is not that different from the enchant loadout that i just showed you the only thing that's different is actually adding this lucky eggs nine book and the lucky eggs nine book is essentially just so i can have a better chance at getting this and supporting my evil side for winning this battle now like i said earlier there's actually a secret way that you can auto farm in this area while opening eggs without the auto farm game pass now, in order to do this, you're going to want to turn on your auto hatch settings, walk over here to the egg and then start opening. And then from here, what you're going to do is actually just walk over right past this line right here. And you can actually grind this area with your pets and open the egg at the same time. So if I equip my pets here, you'll see that they actually begin grinding this area. And as well as that, you can see I'm not using my auto farm game pass. And then on top of that, you could also use your ultimate while you're over here because anything that actually helps you to break these breakables is gonna help you out a lot. Now you can use any of the damage doing ultimates. Like right here, I'm using the nightmare ult. Now I don't think this one is the best necessarily, but I'm just trying to level mine up right now. So I'm just using it for the sake of 
of using it. Honestly, if I were to say which one was the best overall for this type of situation that we're in, it probably would just be the Pet Surge Ultimate because it just charges up so much faster than the rest of the ultimates and it helps your pets to do damage even quicker than they're already doing it. Now, I already know I probably forgot to talk about something in this video, but that is pretty much all the tips that I have for you guys. Leave any questions you have down below and I will try to answer them for you. And if this guy did help you out at all, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you guys think about this update and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.